Hey there, my name is Steve and I'm the head of developer relations with Pinata. And today I'm really excited to show you a brand new feature from Pinata called Groups. This new feature will allow you to put your files into groups or collections that are mutable. One of the biggest problems we've encountered as people who've built on IPFS for years and years now is this concept of organizing your content. Most people will put their content into a folder and then upload that folder. But the problem is if you upload that folder, it can't be changed afterwards because that folder is on IPFS. And that's why we built groups, which is an easy way to organize your content and still move things in and out just so you can visualize more clearly what you need to do with your content versus having to put it all into a folder and then having that stuck there permanently. And not only is this feature useful for creators who are trying to organize their content through the web app, it's actually really powerful for developers as well. With groups being introduced to the Pinata app, we also introduced the Groups API. This is a brand new API set up by Pinata that allows you to create groups, add and remove CIDs, and when you're during the upload stage, you can actually add files to a group there as well. So let's say you're a dev shop and you manage multiple NFT projects for different groups of people. Before, all of your files would be lumped into one big pinata account and it would have been really hard to sort through and find where things are. With the groups API, that solves the issue by allowing you to create a group maybe for each project or for a particular group of people that you're working for and then automatically upload those files to that group making it much easier to keep track of where things are. So with that, let's get into a real quick tutorial or show you how to use the groups API in your upload flow. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and make a pinata API key. If you haven't done that already, we have a link down below that will take you straight to there. So be sure ahead and go ahead to make one. You're only gonna be able to see the keys once, so be sure to go ahead and copy them down. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use the Pinata JWT. It's the really long one, you can't miss it. Once you have that API key, you can go ahead and open up your terminal and we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. And to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go to my desktop here. I'm gonna do make directory groups API. I'm gonna CD into it. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and use bun. Uh, you can use whatever you know uh, runtime you want to. You could use Node, use TypeScript, uh, but bun, in my opinion, it's just been really easy to use. Let's give it a name, use index, and there we go. And so if you see here, we just have our index.ts file. And so let's go ahead and open up this project in our editor and go from there. Okay, so we're in our project. We have the index.ts file open. And the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and make a new file called .env. And in here, we're going to declare pinata JWT. And here's where you're going to go ahead and paste in your pinata API key. And remember, it's the JWT, it's the long one. Once we have that file saved, we can go ahead and start our project. And to do that, I'm going to do an immediately invoked function. So I'm going to do async function main helps if you can spell. There we go. And just like that. And so this way we don't actually have to call the function anywhere. We just run the index file and it's just going to execute everything inside of it. So I'm going here just do console.log and we'll do creating Steve's NFT collection group. And in here we need to go ahead and declare some data. So I'm going to do const group data equals json.stringify and in here all we need to really do is as far as the body of this request it's just a name for the group so let's do name we'll do steve's nft collection perfect so now we have our body we could just go ahead and write out the api request we need to make so we just do const create group request equals await fetch and our URL is just https api.pinata.cloud slash groups. Really simple. In our request, we're gonna do a method of post. And in our headers, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna do just a content type And this is going to be application slash JSON. And then we're going to do our authorization. This is where we are. Our API key comes into play. 
and it's going to do bear and then dollar sign bracket and we'll do process env pinata jwt close it up and in our body we're going to do our group data there we go all right so now we just need to go ahead and basically create our group data so we do create group res equals await create group request json there we go and we just say console.log group created and we'll just go ahead and put that in there group res so now if we go ahead and run this bun run index you can see here that's going ahead and create our group with our name and it's going to have our id our user id and our created at very very good so now that we have our group let's go ahead and upload a file to that group since it's an nft collection it makes sense to upload like a metadata file so do that we're just going to do console.log just to keep track here uploading nft metadata file to steve's group cool now let's do const json data equals json there we go json stringify and in here we're going to basically do a few things uh, one of them is going to be pinata content since we're going to be using the pin json to ipfs this is going to be the actual json body of our metadata and so in here we can do what you would normally do for nft metadata we're going to do like a name and we'll call it penny description a nice penny nft do image ipfs colon slash slash i already have a little snippet save for penny image nice hack there and do external url and do pinata whoop https pinata.cloud there we go so there's our pinata content there is our metadata and then after that we're going to go ahead and go to pinata metadata and this is what is stored with just pinata like the name of the file that shows up when you list the files so i'm just going to give it a name of metadata dot json oh, we got a string there we go and here's where it gets important so in the pinata options we can now pass a group id to designate where we want to upload this file to so if i do group id i can basically use what we have from the group res which is that create group res dot id there we go Oh, and let's just make this type of any so we don't have any errors with TypeScript. Very good. So that is our JSON data. And now we can go ahead and make the upload request to put our metadata into the group. So we're going to do const upload request equals await fetch api.pinata.cloud. And scroll down here a little bit. There we go. And we're going to do pinning slash pin JSON to IPFS. And it's going to look very similar to what we've already did here. So we're just going to do method post. And we're going to do headers. And just going to do the same type. We're going to do content type application slash json and we do our authorization here the vt and there we go close the back up and of course we're going to attach our payload here so it's going to be body we call that json data There we go. And we're going to do const upload res equals await upload 
request.json and do console.log upload complete and we'll do the ipfs hash oh and let's go up here and make sure we do any here just so we don't air out the typescript and we'll do ipfs hash so let's just go ahead and run that again there we go so we have the creation of the group and then we have the file uploaded very cool so now that we've gone ahead and created a group put a file in the group let's just go ahead and list all the files that are part of that group so we can do console do.log fetching all files part of steve's nft collection group there we go and so what we're going to do is basically const file request equals await fetch and we're going to do backticks for this endpoint because we're going to add some queries in here i'm going to do api.pinata.cloud slash data slash uh, pin list and we're going to go ahead and do a query and in here we can go ahead and put group id and we're going to basically put in that same one that we had from earlier so that was the create group res id there we go and so now we have our url and it's going to query and get all the files that are part of that group and let's just go ahead and put in our headers like we always do method i'm going to do get headers All the same stuff again. Content type. Application slash JSON. And then we're going to do authorization. Process.ev. Pinata. JWT. There we go. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and do const files equals await file request json. And we can do console.log files fetched. And we'll do files.rows. Oh, and let's make this any as well. Okay, I think we've got everything we need, so let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. Pretty cool. So you can see here we created the group, we've uploaded the file, and we went ahead and added the file. And I think we've had maybe a couple files since I've uploaded this and maybe changed a couple times. So it shows two files that are part of the same group. Now, of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with this API. For a full list of endpoints, I would highly recommend checking out the link in the description to our docs. where We have everything that we've laid out today and more. So for instance, we have create a group. You can get a group by the ID of it. You can list your groups, update the names, add CIDs to them, remove CIDs in bulk. There's so many different things and you definitely check it out. Now, I will say if you prefer an SDK as a way to manage some of your uploads and files, do not worry. We have a brand new version of the SDK coming out very soon that will have groups enabled and really create a whole new developer experience for Pinata. So if that's something you want to see, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more updates. We're really excited about groups and we can't wait to see what y'all build with it. Happy pinning.